Welcome to Matrix Alchemist. I am using an AI voice for this video because at the moment, there are too many interfering sounds. In this video, I will be exposing a deceptive subliminal creator who labels himself as a certified hypnotherapist. And I am very disappointed that this hypnotherapist who is supposed to help people has put negative affirmations in his own subliminals all the while taking money from them calling them stupid and telling them to have thoughts of Una living themselves, and yes, I have proof, which I will share later in the video, but if you don't want to hear it, I will give you two warnings before I play the audio, I ask that you stick around because before I end this review, I will explain to you how I remove negative thoughts and energy in my body and mind after listening to something that has affected me in any negative ways, that way you will not have to go searching for a subliminal flush by another sub maker that you don't know if they have good intentions. Right now, I want to explain how I came across this find. I, as a subliminal creator and manifestation coach like to always do lots of research and testing of my subs and other subliminals as well. My research helps me to find what works for many and why it doesn't work for others even when they have a positive mindset and I came across a channel named Subliminal Transformations doing subliminal reviews, answering questions about the subconscious and how subliminals work and why it doesn't work etc. I liked what he had to say in some of his educational videos. But I did not enjoy his subliminals because there was something off about the visuals and his audios are far from relaxing but, I wanted to test and see if I would get results from a certified hypnotherapist subliminals, and he claims his subliminals are the world's most effective, he does have a disclaimer that reads, disclaimer, use at your own risk. For all health and legal concerns, always consult a professional. I am not a doctor, lawyer, or financial consultant. Use the subliminal at our own risk, you must accept responsibility for your own actions. Legal disclaimer, all subliminals by all creators, including this one are for entertainment purposes only. I guess he gets entertainment from hurting his listeners? If you ever watch this video, CJ, I ask you where were your principles when creating these subliminals, for your client's well-being, professionalism and informed consent? Moving on, this ex-subliminal maker has not posted on his channel since a year because according a comment he wrote on his Reddit, his subliminal channel was just a challenging game to keep himself occupied. Watching the visuals in his subliminals made me somewhat uncomfortable and anxious for example, his money magnet labeled as cozy and serene, is far from being cozy or serene. The video had this slowed skipping effect and after more research I learned that the psychological effect of slowed down or skipping videos can enhance suggestibility, making listeners more receptive but in the case of subliminal transformation channel, becoming suggestible to the negative hidden affirmations? More so the slowed down or skipping effect can hurt the viewer's mind by disrupting their attention and focus, making it difficult for them to concentrate which leads to frustration or irritation and other emotional responses, include confusion, anxiety, unease. My intuition forced me to stop watching because of my self-programmed beliefs that I am safe and protected from bad submakers and subliminals, however against my intuition I still wanted to test his subliminals and I am glad I did now, because it was no coincidence that I am to warn the people still listening to his subliminals, so rather than watching the video, I decided to sleep to one of his subliminals, the lucid dreaming, I always scroll the comments before listening to a subliminal to read reviews and more. I came across the very last comment and it read, This subliminal audio had many many distracting noises, and I know sometimes people hear things that weren't really there so although the sounds were far from relaxing, I turned the sound up with headphones on and rewinded the video back to the very beginning where there might have been a chance to hear something before the music played. And there it was. I listened a few times to make sure my mind wasn't being influenced by the comment. I was so upset to hear those words. I felt betrayed, hurt for the people who listened to his subs, and knew I had to do something about it. So after doing research all night and the next day on how to remove sounds and music on the program called Audacity, I got to work, watching many videos even during the process of trying to remove all the sounds he piled on top of the affirmations, and finally I got what I was looking for. And it was much worse than I thought. It shook me to my core. Why? Why go through all the trouble, work and hours, to create hidden harmful content? It is no secret that underground subliminals exist on YouTube, but they don't hide it. This man has made a product under the false advertising of it being helpful, but can actually influence someone to take their own life. In a moment I will be sharing the audio proof of his subliminal, I did the best I could with removing the sounds but it is far from perfect. Maybe you will be able to hear even more than I did when listening. I will be inserting the clip in the next 5 seconds.
There are a lot of fake subliminal makers out there, but there is just as many of us good ones, who care about your mental health because we know that energy affects our reality, and we affect others' reality, and the collective consciousness with our thoughts and intentions. People like CJ, genuinely hate themselves, and they project their hate onto others. Only he knows why he went through school to learn how to influence or control people's minds, but it seems he did none of the inner workings of his own mind to heal his self-hatred and insecurities. Next, I will give you my own tips of how to be rid of low vibes and negativity in mind and body. First you have to be conscious of what is happening within rather than looking out to the trigger, so what I do is, I notice the negative energy and start to breathe slowly in and out and make deeper breaths every time I breathe, but that only does so much depending on how much negativity is going on so another thing I do is repeat the Ho Oponopono prayer. Another is I will put on a singing bowl meditation. There are so many wonderful singing bowl frequencies on YouTube. It does take time and effort like with anything else to find the right one for you, but once you do just save it and you can always refer back to it. Listen to self-love affirmations. Not subliminals, where you can't hear the affirmations. You have to hear what the affirmations are and repeat them in your head or out loud. Don't just listen to the affirmations, make the conscious effort to repeat them in your head because your thoughts are the power. My last tip is to forgive whatever negative energy was sent your way, you will practice over and over forgiving because this will bring you inner peace and release the negative energy. It is okay to be upset about something but you don't want to live there, because what you choose to repeat can manifest in another form for you to feel that way again. The subconscious is like a sponge that takes everything in that is sent to the mind, but if you build beliefs like I have that you are safe and protected from negativity, practice confidence, and build a strong healthy mindset, then even if you are temporarily affected like I was, then you can easily bounce back. But if you do not do these things for yourself and many people who have listened to bad subs, these people with evil intentions can influence your mind to do harmful things to yourself. Sometimes people are really at their lowest trying to find a helpful hand, but because they are at their lowest, they will unconsciously manifest more things to keep them at that low vibe. So please be nice to others because you never know how much they are suffering inside and many times these people don't try to hurt others, but instead are the ones getting hurt. Thank you all for watching and supporting my channel.